Wrestling Club for my channel. Right, well, as you've just seen with the video, Magoo has been and he's done the welding. So, what's happened now then is we actually have a frame welded in here, across there, and all the way around. And now, but the only problem is he was going to weld here, he was going to weld spot weld here to the sides. And he tried in a couple of places, and this is a bit too thin, so I've got some tech screws which I'm going to screw in from the outside through here. And I've got some rust cure that I'm going to put on here shortly. So before I do that, I'm going to um, just get off any flaky paintwork on here, put the rust cure on, and then I found some tannalized timber here that I'm actually going to use for the bottom of it so it looks like a truck bed with the wood coming across like that so the next thing flaky paint off put one piece of wood on this side one piece of wood on the other side and then i'm going to paint all the bottom of it and sort all the electrics out while i can still get to it and then flip it over and then i'll put the rest of the boarding in so the first job is flaky paint off and then a board in let's go Okay, well I know you can paint, uh, you can use the uh, hammer like paint I've got here to paint it within the end, direct to rust, as it says there. But I'm going to use a little bit of this anyway, the hammer like Q rust, to convert it just to make some of them sides a little bit stronger. So I'm just going to put a bit in there with the old brush, and uh, it's water based, and we'll give it a, a good paint on. It's a rubbishy brush, but sacrificial aid right there we go well for anyone who hasn't used this stuff before it's fairly simple splodge it on like that and as you do it you'll see within I don't know, not very long it'll all turn black it'll all go dry and it'll all turn like a blacky bluey color and then you know it's worked and converted what it needs to Right, well just on the side here, we've got a, a fair bit of a gap here, um, along there. And I just need to pull that in. So what I'm gonna use for this is tech screws. And I'll show you these. There they're in there. And what they have is at, on the very base of them there, I might just see if I hold it against that, they've actually, they cut through the metal. So you choose your point like there, and you screw it in and it screws it actually screws and drills its way through there through the steel on the other side and then it'll hold these together so it's effectively like a wood it's like a self-tapping wood screw but for metal okay so i'll blast a few of these in now and that should hold it together and if you was doing this and you didn't have a uh, trying to refurbish a trailer or even put any metal on and you didn't have a um a um if you didn't have a welder or access to a welder you could just use tech screws so we could have welded all that stuff in instead of welding in we could have just used tech screws okay let's put some in There 
go and it's comfy. Right, you can see the tech screws are in there and also this is dried now and this is what it looks like when it's dried it goes sort of like a blacky bluey colour so you can see it's dried all the way over now there all the way around there now so the next thing to do so I'm going to paint this bit here there and I'm going to paint sort of like this bit here where the first piece of wood's going to go on top of here and then I'm going to um, uh, put the wood in and, and I'm going to sort all the electrics out because they run underneath the trailer here. Well, I ended up <laughs> ended up painting a bit more of it than I thought there. So I've done the whole floor um, on the inside there so we can actually um, put some wood down. Here's a handy little tip. So I've just finished painting. And uh, if you ever do this and you want to, uh, instead of using um, white spirit and stuff like that, if you just get your brush, roll it in some cling film like that, so that no air can get to it. There you go. Simply like that. And then just put that on the side and you can come back and use that in a few days, week, two weeks, something like that. As long as no air gets to it, nothing will happen to it and it won't go hard. That's a handy little tip for you. Okay, well while the trailer's drying, I might just have to have a look at the elephant in the room, which is this. This is the wiring, this is the wiring loop for the trailer. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take off these, take off the backs of these lights. Yeah, let's see if we can take them off. Um, they just unpeel like that. So they need to come off anyway to get cleaned and re-waterproofed. All the lights did work before I took this off. So I'm optimistic that this can get sorted out reasonably easily. Right, well, that's the paint nice and dry on there. Look, you can see it's all looking quite good. And I just did it like a little bit up the sides. And there's the first two boards in place. I just did it a little bit up the sides here just to allow me to put the boards in and these once they're once we've uh, got them all squared in they'll be fine um so now i've already cut the other boards so let me quickly pop them in and we can see what the base looks like i think it's going to be quite good Okay, well that's them in. So I drilled through, as you saw, I look, my gloves are knackered now. Drilled through each one of them. And uh, as you can see, as I as I pulled down, they've actually gone quite flush. So I'm happy with that. There's only one screw in the board, but that's actually firm as you like, that is. I might put one in the front afterwards. I'll see. Right, next bit.